All right, if you're anything like me, when you open up the Epic Games Launcher and you go to your project library and you see all these terrible little thumbnails of work in progress, uh, shots of your projects, it just annoys the heck out of you. So today I'm gonna to show you how to change the project thumbnail so that your project vault looks much cleaner and nicer and professional. And I'm also gonna show you how to change your editor startup splash screen. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'd like to start by letting you know that I have created this quick start guide to setting your editor thumbnail and splash screen to be custom. This PDF goes over the step-by-step -step what I'm about to show in this video, but I'd just like to scroll through it for you here. And the download for this can be found linked in the description below. All right, so if you're anything like me, you really hate opening up the library and seeing all of these messy thumbnails uh, for your projects. And if you notice, some of the projects that you may have downloaded have these really nice thumbnails and they seem to stay the same regardless of how you open or close a project. So we're gonna take a look at this example here. And the first thing we'll notice is the default editor splash screen. This is going to be something that we're going to be able to change and make it look a lot nicer. But if you're ever working in your project and you know, you're in wireframe mode or your camera is like something's up right in the, the screen and you have to close out your project real quick and you go back and open up your library, you'll notice that the auto screenshot saves out the current state of your project. To me, this is incredibly annoying, especially when I get to a point where I have enough done where I can get a decent screenshot saved out for my thumbnail. So let's start by opening up the project. First thing I'm gonna do is go into lip mode. I'm gonna hit G to go into game view. And I'm gonna frame up. Now I'm gonna keep in mind that it is going to save a square section of this. So I wanna kind of frame up what I want in the center to be in my thumbnail. At this point, I'm gonna close out the project and the Epic Games launcher. I'll relaunch the launcher, go to my library, and we'll see that my screenshot is updated. I'm pretty happy with this, so what I'm gonna do is right click on this and select show in folder. So it'll take us to wherever our project is saved. The default is documents, unreal projects, and the name of your project. Inside the name of your project, uh, we're gonna go into the saved folder, and we'll see that we have this auto screenshot. So I'm gonna simply hit control C and control V to create a copy. I'm going to click in here and name this thumbnail, and then I'll relaunch my project. We've still got the default splash screen here, and we'll get to that in a moment. So with the project open, I'm gonna click Edit, Project Settings. In my project settings, I'm gonna make sure I'm in the description tab and under the about next to project thumbnail, I'm gonna click the three dots. I'm gonna open up my save folder and I'm gonna select the thumbnail that I just renamed. Once I hit open, nothing really changed because it's the same thumbnail, but I'm gonna click this button again. And now that we can see in the directory just above saved, where we have our auto screenshot and our thumbnail, we also have this new file here named whatever our project is named. If we double click it, it is the screenshot that we just took. So now our thumbnail is set and we can double check this by closing out the project and relaunching the editor. And there it is. All right, and we're just gonna double check this. I'm gonna go back into wireframe mode and move the camera around, close the project out, relaunch the launcher, and I can see that it's unchanged. All right, so this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. I'm starting to get a nice organized projects view here. And I like this a lot better than the auto uh, screenshot. So now onto the splash screen. We'll open up our project and I'm gonna go back into lip mode. You can frame up your shot however you like. Make sure you're in G mode. I've got a cinematic camera, so I'm just gonna select the cinematic camera, right click on the camera and pilot the actor. And I'm going to select immersive mode or on a Windows keyboard, I can hit the F11 key and I'll just frame up my shot. Now, keep in mind, the splash screen is 600 uh, wide by 200 tall. So I just wanna make sure I've got kind of enough room to crop out what I want. So next, I can click on the arrow and select high resolution screenshot and hit the take screenshot button. A note's gonna pop up here and I'm gonna click on that real quick and that's gonna take me to my screenshots folder. Now, if you missed that link, you can find that by going to documents, Unreal project, the name of your project, saved screenshot and either Windows or Mac depending on the platform uh, you're on. So the latest screenshot was here and what I wanna do is I would just wanna open this up in Photoshop. I'm going to right click, open with Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use any image editing tool uh, that you have. Uh, GIMP is very similar to Photoshop and is free. So that's uh, an option if you don't have Photoshop. I'm gonna make sure that I've got the crop tool selected. I can hit the C key to enable the crop tool. If I don't have the crop tool selected, I can again disable that and just hit the C key. Now I wanna come up to here and make sure that I've got height and width resolution. I'm gonna type in 600, px for pixels in the first box and 200 
PX for pixels in the second box. This will give me my height and width, crop and resize. Uh, so now I'm just gonna grab the handles and kind of frame this up the way that I want. I'm gonna hold down the Alt key to bring it in and constrain that, and then I'll just move it around until I like the shot. Let's pick something like that and I'll hit Enter. Okay, so we can zoom in on this. Now all we have to do is save it out. I'm gonna hit File, Save As, and we'll call this Splash. And I'm saving it out as a PNG, uh, which should be fine. I'm gonna hit OK. Then I can close Photoshop and go back into Unreal. So I'm gonna press F11 to get out of immersive mode. And we're going to go to edit project settings on the left here i'm going to scroll all the way down until i see platforms and i'm going to select my platform for me i'm using windows so i'm going to select windows then under the splash drop down we see that we have the editor splash and game splash uh, we can change both if you like but i'm just concerned right now with the editor splash screen so i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to hit the three buttons and that should take me to my screenshots folder where i've got that new splash loaded there i can hit open and then i'm going to simply close my project back in my library we'll see that my thumbnail has not changed i'll open up my project and we can see now that we've got our new beautiful splash screen. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that quick tip guide. Uh, in the description below, I have a link to my PDF of the quick start guide for you to download. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.